a very warm welcome to all of you joining us in prayer. I'm Father Ron at the beginning of a new week given to us by God. How blessed we are. Thank you for being here in prayer with us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall shall declare your your praise. Psalm 4, Crying Out I cry out to you in my anguish, O God. I have tried to be good. I have blown on the embers of the faith I have found. I have learned to pray and to trust. I ask you for better times, but more urgently for courage and joy in whatever the times bring. Your presence in my heart is more important to me than success or riches. With it, I can trust the darkness and live waking and sleeping in peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Romans Chapter 12, verse 11. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. God. I was reminded of something I had read about how one of the greatest tricks of the devil is to keep us dwelling in our sin, to keep us from thinking that we could possibly be worth saving. The article I read then goes on to say that The devil does this precisely to people who he is trying to keep from moving forward into the work God has created them to do. I don't know who listening needs permission to let go, but I'm here to remind you that Jesus gave you that permission when he died for you. When he took the curse to the cross, he gave you permission to stop dwelling on your past, to stop feeling guilty to let go of any thought that you aren't good enough because of something you've done. Jesus told us that his burden is light. So if you are carrying a burden of past sins and regret that feels heavy, know that that is not from him. That is from his adversary, pulling the oldest trick in the book, the trick that keeps you from living in the divine will. Because once you shed that shame, you are one step closer to living out the divine purpose you were created for. So take a deep breath and throw that stone you've been carrying into the sea and don't look back. We learned what happens to those who look back from Lot's wife, so don't even peek. Just move forward. Sometimes my daughter and I go throw rocks into the pond next to our house. It's really freeing sometimes to physically throw the rock and picture letting go of something. She obviously does it because she likes the splash it makes. But if you drive by and see me chucking a rock with intense fury, don't panic. Just know that I am working through letting go of something. So if you need to go find a rock to throw, do that. Do what you need to do to toss that shame away. Before we pray our Our Father, let's take a moment and just call to mind those prayers, those faces of those we love that we're lifting to the Lord in prayer. And together, in the words Jesus himself taught us, we pray. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord of all power and might, who are the author and giver of all good things, inflame in our hearts the love of your holy name. Increase in us true faith, nourish us with all your goodness, and bring forth in us the fruit of good works. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. May the Lord bless and keep you and shed his light upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Vincent de Paul. Pray for us. St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Pray for us. Thanks for praying with us, friends. God's peace upon you this day, and we'll see you tomorrow.